Hey guys, how's it going? It's Benjamin. Okay, so today we're going to be learning about the command prompt, as you guys can see by this. And the command prompt is, I know it's probably a little foreign to you guys, but we're going to work through this and we can just kind of mingle along. So what the command prompt does is it helps you run things from like a direct terminal view, so to speak, which is what it's called. So this is your folder, so your hard drive, your users folders, and then me, which is Benjamin, so you want to go into those folders which is a dir directory press enter and you have this drive in c and you have pictures and mi videos and documents and all your stuff and you say whoa this is a lot of stuff i don't know if i can handle this well the way you change a directory in command prompt is a cd and then all you have to do is dot dot and you can go up and what that does is it brings you up to the next folder, as you can see. So I exited out of my Benjamin folder. And say I want to go back into my Benjamin folder then, I would have to change the directory also into so I could get back into the folders. So I would go CD and then Benjamin and then Enter, and it brings me back to the folder. And then I want to actually go to my documents. So I'd have to CD again and then Documents then enter again and that brings you to your documents and you forget what's in your documents so you can click your directory if you want and that would be dir and see all this stuff okay so i actually have a folder for jar files and that's what i'm going to help you guys so jar files and i'm actually going to help you run that simple math calculator that's on the phoenix guild website and i don't just to run the program you have to check the directory directory again to make sure everything's okay. So that's a simple math calculator dot jar. And if I'm remembering how to do this right, I believe it's Java space hyphen jar and then just the name of your file. So that would be your simple math calculator dot jar. And don't forget the underscores, you have to get everything. So you click dot jar and you press enter and it brings up this line that says enter first number and that enter first number is part of your calculator so you enter your first number I'm going to just pick a random one say 52.38 and then you click enter again and that's your operation so that's going to be your adding multiplying subtracting you know dividing division all that cool stuff so I'm not going to pick eight I'm going to pick multiplying and that is the asterisk, that little star thing, and it will recognize that. So then your second number is what you're using with the first number along with the operation to get. After all, this is math. So for the second number, I'm going to pick 98 and a half. And then it brings me my answer, which is 5,159.43. And then it brings you back to these. And that's really cool because it just resets it for you. So that's a little command prompt magic for you. As you can see, it's not that too hard. It's not that hard, but I mean, if you're just using it, go ahead. And um, thanks, you guys, for watching, and see you next time. I hope you watch my other videos, and I hope they're as helpful as I think they are. Okay, guys, bye.